Kilroy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm with Kyle and Alina. This is the Port Authority Route 59. It is, in fact, the craziest bus route in America. Nobody and I have quantitative deviations. proof. Yes, lots of deviations. Quantitative proof. Um, there was a tweet from Hayden Clarkin, whom you should follow. Um, what's the craziest bus route in America? My 59 response <laughs> got the most likes of any American bus route. So quantitatable, quantifiable <laughs> proof. And we're going to ride. Uh, the whole thing. We're, we're just the Pittsburgh people. Guys. <laughs> yeah, we're the, the local guides. Yeah. Um, this is like a two and a half hour trip, so uh, I hope <laughs> you guys are looking forward to sitting on a bus for ever. Yeah. The bus starts at the Century 3 Mall, which is in fact its first deviation. Um, this, I mean, I've seen dead malls before, but this mall is actually completely Wait, and there. totally oh dead. Merry Xmas. Next to something we can't show. Yo, that's Century 3 Chevrolet. <laughs> it's by the mall. <laughs> it's by the mall. That's a Pittsburgh thing, right? Yeah. I'll look up like the thing. Century 3 Chevrolet, Church Road, Pittsburgh. from the mall. Here's another fancy entrance and then lots of parking. Look at this infrastructure, an elevated walkway into the mall from the parking lot. It's multiple. There's another one. Wait, Kyle, you've been to Century 3 when it was a mall. I, when I was about six, I've been to Century 3. <laughs> oh. I've never been to Century 3. I'm a, I'm a country bump kid. I'm not. It's so sad to see it go. <laughs> so, we're back at the bus stop. Uh, it took us genuinely like 25 minutes to loop around. Uh, the Port Authority still comes here because this is officially a park and ride. And you'll know that this is the one place in the mall where there are actually some people parked. The bus is here. We're gonna be on that for two and a half hours, or however long it actually will be, specifically. Uh, we're leaving two minutes early, guys. Yeah. So, for the first, like, ten minutes of this trip, we just sort of loop around the Century 3 Mall facility. Which we did some research on its opening in 1979. It was the third biggest mall in the world, Century 3. Mall. Do it one more time. Now that is a fun fact. And it closed in 2019, which is way more recent than I thought. Yeah. All right, we're embarking on deviation number two to Walmart. Yeah. So down there, that's the Century 3 Mall. We've been going for six minutes, and we're just at this Walmart. So we've made very little actual progress. Oh, and uh, no one has gotten on, so it was a waste of everyone's time. And now we're just looping around. This is amazing already. Oh, the other one. Yeah. We're at the one part of the route that's kind of a straightaway, like we actually make progress here. It's the Allegheny County Airport, which I don't imagine has any actual flight. I think it's just a random airport. There's a very nice view down the hill over there. We're in a residential neighborhood. Ooh, this is really scenic. Dead trees. Yeah. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Oh, These dudes, they are dancing. They are. This looks like a. This looks like the Zumba guy. You know the Zumba logo. He's got no. that guy like boogie. That's him. That's him. He's on the 59. This guy's boogie. He's boogie. Fun fact to learn: Pittsburgh has more bridges than any other city. Venice tried to fight us. Pittsburgh's got the most. Sucks to be Venice. Sucks to be Italian. All right, so we're across from another bridge. It's worth noting that, actually, there are cars going that way. Okay, I just, the, apparently the bus doesn't go over the bridge this direction, like deviates around and goes Maybe elsewhere. Maybe there's a one-way down here. I don't, Happy. that's really weird. Cause there's cars going, I always thought the bridge was being worked on, but the bus apparently goes over a different bridge the other way. What is this? It's a train station? I saw something like the keys for a train station. Yeah. On the map, there is one. There used to be a commuter rail in Pittsburgh to Versailles. Oh. Um, but I don't know. Oh, well, that's interesting. We're going over an intense highway ramp to cross over the Monongahela River again. Uh, entering Duquesne. The map's always out of focus. I need to stop looking at the point of the map. It's pointless. Oh, on a, on a rather nice bridge. Wow, look at all this industrial uh, yeah. stuff. We're strolling up a hill to our third deviation. This is an elaborate one where we loop on ourselves to serve Duquesne. Ooh, the yellow brick road. There's a lot of brick roads. I think yeah. it's a matter of being too lazy to replace them. I mean, like, but it also makes people go slower, so it's like a... 
It is a form of speed control. The bus is struggling a little bit here, not to mention the hill. The last couple of people got off. We now have the bus to ourselves. That's we'll so see. Oh, we found out of the corner. I think we're going back down the hill. I think the deviation is. We're entering the second half. Oh, I Get see. ready for an insane right turn. What do we see? Oh, Kennywood. Ooh, all right. We'll be there soon. Ooh. All right, that was a little less intense than I thought it would be. There is some industry over here. Look at this. Must have built masterpiece. These are the Pennsylvania Railroad workers. They built these with their bare hands. Lit by the light of Venus. Now that is candy wood. Okay, so that's the racers, that wooden one you see. Uh-huh. And then the big steel one, that's the new steel curtain. I personally don't like it. Um, well, Here's a fun fact. My drum instructor was one of the people that test that roller coaster. We actually, Whoa. now that is a fun fact. My favorite ride, well, it's not really ride there anymore, but Garfield's Nightmare. A classic. <laughs> a classic. It used to be a love boat ride. It turned into Garfield's Nightmare. Now it's back to being an old mill ride. They should have kept it Garfield's Nightmare. Should have kept it. The thing up front says Hoffman and Kmart, but we think it might be a former Kmart. It's, there's nothing here. So this is deviation number Four. This is the Kennywood Mall, but Kyle, you said the sign out front doesn't say it that. It said Kennywood Shops. Oh. Uh, I moved over to the right side of the bus to get this view of Kennywood Park from the mall. Oh, I should also share, Kennywood is also um, one of the oldest trolley parks still around. Uh, so it was built by a streetcar company, I believe, um, to get people to travel out to the end of the line. They put stuff there so that they could encourage like off-peak and weekend ridership. Now that is a fun fact. All right, as we pull away from this John Eagle at the uh, Kennywood <laughs> shop slash mall, yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, I would like to point out that we are about a third of the way done with the trip. And it is, um, two fifty. We've been on here for fifty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Thanks for not backing up, pickup truck. There are the Kennywood shops slash Kennywood Mall. So we kind of looped our way around. You can see just you can even just see from the the views we get of just how like indirect this whole experience is. Oh no, someone's getting on. We have lost our exclusivity. All right, we're beginning deviation number five. Five. This is uh, uh, Monview Heights. Oh, it's a private development, I guess. What? The heck? We gotta, we gotta have permission to get in. Oh my god. Oh, oh, we captured the bus sneezing on camera. I've always called it farting, but Alina calls it sneezing, it and it's actually, like yeah. This deviation is made even more fun by the. Persistent speed bumps. Ugh. All right, passing by the toll booth again. So the person, was like <laughs> the, the person in there was. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got a wow. So this deviation seemed to be quite popular. Um, three people got on here. So more yeah. than any other. So we're heading down the hill to the waterfront. The, the bus has suddenly gotten very popular. Yeah. Like every stop there's been someone getting also, on. Also, important note about the waterfront, it was one of the biggest rivals to Century 3 Mall. And part of what got it like, to get to London. I still support the Tesla. <laughs> right down in the comments below, do you still support, you support <laughs> Century 3? <laughs> so we just turned to go toward the waterfront. It's worth noting that in like 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna be on that road. So oh, yeah. we have a lot of deviating to do before that. Around. So this, we're gonna call this, what deviation are we at? Six. 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 This is our sixth deviation, but then this is a weird one because there are deviations within the deviation. So we'll just count those <laughs> as part of the tally as well. So we're entering our first deviation within the deviation. This is number seven. seven. Uh, this is serving, a, I believe, a Target and a Giant Eagle. As we pass Dave and Buster's, we're at our eighth deviation. Rock bottom. Oh, rock bottom. <laughs> rock bottom. We really have. Has eighth, eighth deviation. This one is to Costco. Um, is this? This is what the bus is supposed to do, but it doesn't really feel legal. It's a 59 going the other way because this is. This is the road we were at before. I don't even know how long it's been since we were there. I don't I remember. I think we passed 459. Like, yeah. Just give you an idea of how much of this doubles back on itself. Right. Yeah. Well, it's worth knowing the routes every the routes every half hour 
but like because it takes so long, it actually requires a bunch of buses to run it. I've been consistently filming every bridge, so for tradition's sake, we're getting this one. Now that we've crossed the bridge, we're kind of in the most painful part of the route, as if the rest hasn't been. What deviation is this? Nine. Nine. This is like going up and around like Swiss Vale kind of area. Here's the Martin Luther King Jr. East Busway. Uh, really an amazing piece of infrastructure. It's a, a Pittsburgh uh, Port Authority thing where it's buses only and they go in downtown really frequently. So it seems like a better route than this. We're starting another deviation, another kind of road one where it's just like we could have gone directly down there to get where we're ending up once they were going kind of out of the way to serve some other stuff. How many is this? Is this 10? Is this the ten? big double digits? Ten. All right. Ooh, aviary. We just came aviary. from the aviary. This is the North Braddock aviary, apparently. I have to just opine here that the architecture in Pittsburgh and its environs is really interesting. The way it's like built into the hills, all the houses are different. I just, I really, really, I, I, I love Pittsburgh so much. It's, so, it's really a great city. Got personality. We're in fact going to be deviating in here. Making this, uh, is this number 11? I don't think it's number 11. We haven't gone this fast or straight in a while. Two seconds later. We just circled a block. Huh? Like, we just like went off the turn, boop, 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 and we're back up. And now we're heading around. back up, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what number deviation is that? <laughs> well, we didn't stop because no one wanted to get on, and yeah. thus our time was indeed wasted. Here. We're on the home stretch. Home, home stretch, stretch to Walmart. It is currently 4:13, and we got on at 2:05. Yeah. <laughs> Although we left at 2:03. Yes. So we've been on here for two hours and ten minutes. It's been a wow. trip. Well, this is a bit bittersweet. We're entering our final deviation to Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> deviation 13. Fun fact time. In the year 13, 13. Mansa Musa became the leader of the Mali Empire. Subsequently, the richest man in history. Wow. Need I say more? That's a great fact. It's 4.14, which means that I believe we were four minutes early. And now we're at Walmart. Yay. We're at the subway attached to the Walmart. Subway. Um, Walmart. <laughs> dinner of a kind. Um, I was hungry, that's yeah. the situation. Um, okay, Hi. it was a slog. I mean, we can agree it was a slog. Yeah. Um, it was boring. <laughs> what? Nothing. Did you say you were bored? No. You were with your two best friends in the world and you were bored, I can't believe it. I thought it was very interesting. I think it's a combination of like three different routes, so it's like, I guess for efficiency reasons, they just put them all together in a one insane thing. It's like, no one rides it from end to end because they wouldn't. You, there's anyway. no reason you ever would. Yeah, I mean it's not even the fastest thing between its intermediate points, but like when you're in the suburbs, you have to kind of mm -hmm. surf some stuff. I don't know. It's kind of hard. It's hard not to call it like a crazy route, and it's definitely not a good route by any means. But like <laughs> it gets used. Um, and it was, it was fun. Like Pittsburgh is just has really cool suburbs because it's not sprawl. It's kind of like more. It's like old school. Mining towns and stuff, so you get really interesting um, rust belt energy. Yeah, you get really cool architecture, old churches and stuff. So I don't know if you want a tour of like southeastern Pittsburgh, <laughs> the 59, we'll give you that. So that's that's America's craziest bus route. Um, if you think you have a crazier bus route, tell me in the comments. Let me know down below, <laughs> you guys. Um, Make sure to like and subscribe for smash more. Smash that like content. button. <laughs> And that's all from Miles in Transit. <laughs> now that is a fun fact. You know what else is a fun fact? The New Jersey Transit Route 317 is the longest local bus route in America east of the Mississippi. And I'm going to be riding it on February 26th, the Saturday, at 3.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live, uh, for my 1,000 subscriber special that's long overdue. So if you're interested in that, then come.